Step beyond the monochrome veil and witness the brutality of the Civil War like never before. Our colorized photographs reveal the ironclad behemoths that clashed on water and the artillery that shook the ground. The Civil War erupted on April 12, 1861, when Confederate forces bombarded Fort Sumter in South Carolina. The Union garrison surrendered after 34 hours. The officers in the photograph were likely part of the 1st Connecticut Heavy Artillery Regiment. They were responsible for coordinating the mortar fire and ensuring effective artillery support during battles. Unfortunately, by the time the CSS Stonewall arrived in Havana, the American Civil War had already concluded. On Morris Island, South Carolina, during the summer of 1863, a 300-pounder Parrot rifle suffered a catastrophic failure, resulting in a shattered muzzle. In the year 1864, aboard the sturdy deck of a Monitor-class gunboat, a group of officers stands resolute. This formidable weapon, known as the Dictator, was a 13-inch seacoast mortar cast in a foundry in Pittsburgh and weighing a staggering 17,120 pounds. A formidable trio of Union gunboats, the USS DeKalb, USS Mound City and USS Cincinnati patrol the murky waters of the mighty Mississippi River. The deadliest maritime disaster in U.S. history occurred after the war. The steamboat Sultana exploded on the Mississippi River, killing over 1,800 Union soldiers returning home. In the year 1862, aboard the USS Monitor, an ironclad warship that would forever change naval warfare, we find ourselves on the deck. Amid the bustling streets of Washington, D.C., we find a stack of cannonballs, a silent testament to the nation's tumultuous past. The once proud Confederate gunboat Atlanta now lies subdued and under Union control. Its capture in 1864 marks a pivotal moment. The USS Cairo's iron-plated hull, bristling with cannons, symbolizes the Union's technological prowess and unwavering determination. Amidst the swamps and thickets of Yorktown, Virginia, during the Peninsula Campaign of 1862, Confederate fortifications rise. In the year 1864, aboard the sturdy deck of a Monitor-class gunboat, a group of sailors stands resolute. Fort Corcoran, Virginia, a distinguished group of officers from the 69th Infantry, New York, stands alongside their resolute leader, Colonel Michael Corcoran. The USS Galena, a Union ironclad, displays embedded cannonballs after clashing with Confederate batteries on the James River in 1862. The USS Lafayette spent most of the war in the Lower Mississippi River area, including participating in the Red River Expedition in March through May 1864. Commissioned in 1864, the USS Onondaga spent her entire active career with the James River Flotilla, covering the water approaches to the Confederate States capital of Richmond, Virginia. The 15-inch Rodman gun weighed approximately 50,000 pounds, had a range of up to four miles, and was used to defend the Potomac River and Washington, D.C. from naval attacks. 
The CSS David was one of about 20 torpedo boats produced by the Confederate Navy. Although its design resembles a modern submarine, the David was strictly a surface vessel. Commissioned in October 1863, the Piosta operated on the Tennessee River, protecting Union shipping and supporting Army activities. Commissioned on January 31, 1862, the USS St. Louis was a stern-wheel casement gunboat built by James B. Eads in St. Louis, Missouri. The Beauregard gun was part of the Confederate defenses. The gun was named after General P.G.T. Beauregard, a prominent Confederate military leader. The USS Fort Hindman was a side-wheel steamer converted into a river gunboat, commonly referred to as a tin-clad due to its timber bulwarks and thin iron plate armor. The sighting of a 32-pounder smoothbore on board USS Thomas Freeborn, previously a steam tug acquired by the Union Navy 1861. The USS Hendrick Hudson, a schooner-rigged screw steamer, was captured by the Union Navy on April 6, 1862, and commissioned into service on December 30, 1862. The USS Hunchback, converted from a ferry boat into a gunboat, commissioned in early January 1862, served actively in the North Carolina Sounds and in the James River. A 100-pounder Parrot rifle aboard the Confederate gunboat Teaser, which was captured by the Union's USS Maritanza on July 4, 1862, during the American Civil War. The USS Rattler was a 165-ton stern-wheel, tin-clad river gunboat built in 1862 at Cincinnati, Ohio, originally named the civilian steamer Florence Miller. The USS Delaware played a significant role in the North Atlantic Blockading Squadron, aiming to capture or destroy Confederate ships and bombard military installations. The USS Choctaw was outfitted as a ram with heavy rifled guns and operated as both a gunboat and a ram on the rivers of the Confederate States of America. Thanks for joining us on this journey back in time, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you on the next one.